Hey guys, it's Di, and today I'm going to share some of my outfit and planning when I'm getting ready to go to Walt Disney World. So I'm here in my closet, and I wanted to share how I start to put together some of the different outfits that I wear and bring with me on our trips. So we are getting ready to go to Disney this fall, and I'm putting together a number of outfits so we can take pictures in the park. Some of our outfits are going to be family matching outfits. So I'll do a try-on haul. I'm waiting on a few more items to get to me from various places, some family shirts from Etsy, and also some items from Amazon. So I'll share those in an upcoming vlog as well, but I thought today it'd be fun to kind of share my process as I start figuring out what I want to bring with me and how I decide what accessories I need to order and try to put everything together before I go. So it is about a month or so before our trip. And of course, if you're going to be ordering things, especially right now, you have to give yourself enough time to get those things ordered and get them to arrive at your house before you leave. So I tried to not to cut it close, although we are still waiting on a few items, like I said, from Amazon and also from Etsy. And hopefully all of those matching family shirts will arrive before our trip because they make really fun pictures. So we don't do that for every day of our trip, but occasionally on our trips that we go as a family, we try to have like at least one day where we wear matching shirts, even if it's just for part of the day to get a fun family picture and it just makes a fun memory. So we do do that on a number of our trips. And actually one of the matching shirts that I have worn in the past is actually right here. This was a really fun trip where we went, I believe it was during the summer because it was pretty hot, and the girls and I had shirts that said spoiled on them, and my husband had a shirt that said broke, and it made for such a funny picture. We had so many cute pictures from that day, and we got a lot of compliments on them as we were walking around, so it was kind of fun because we made people chuckle as well. Um, so for our upcoming trip, we're going during the fall season, and all they are are some fall Halloween shirts that have Disney pumpkins on them, either a Mickey or a Minnie. So one of the things that I have found recently, I love these skirts on Amazon, and I love wearing dresses and skirts in the parks, which a number of years ago, I would not wear them at all, and then I hit upon wearing them with some bike shorts underneath, and they're actually a very comfortable way to get around the parks. So I shared in a different video, some of these dresses, these Land's End dresses, are really, really fun to put together with different Disney bounds, and they're also great just to toss on to go to dinner. So I've worn these a lot in the Turks and Caicos. I wear them to Disney, and they're just really easy to accessorize and really comfortable to wear. So under all of these dresses or shorts that I'm gonna pack, I always have usually a tank top underneath and then some shorts. So I don't worry about the wind like catching my skirt and tossing it up or anything. And it works for curvy girls. When you're walking around, I don't have to worry about it being uncomfortable. So it's actually very, very comfortable and very, very cool. Because at home I wear jeans a lot or jean shorts. And jeans can get really, really hot at Disney. I found that they are not really optimal to do that much walking and not really optimal when you are there during the hotter time periods. So I've really come to like wearing skirts and dresses. So these skirts I hit upon on Amazon. I'm gonna show you a number of these. This one is fun. So I got this shirt on Etsy a while back. I think I've had it for a year or so. Then I got this great skirt also from Amazon, and Natalie walked in and she said, oh look, Rapunzel. So this is kind of a two-in-one. It's a Rapunzel Disney bound. You could put some fun yellow accessories with it, maybe some fun yellow um, kind of bangles and things like that. Also says, this is my happy place. And this would also be a great purple wall outfit as well. So I'm planning on bringing this with me and getting some fun pictures with this. And this is one that I feel I could wear a number of different places. You could wear it at Magic Kingdom, you could wear it at Epcot, and it works at a lot of different parks. So this is from Amazon and this shirt is from Etsy. Kind of following that same pattern, I have another skirt here that's from Amazon. This one is more the Cinderella blue. And I have this shirt that says Castle Shoes and Bibbidi Bobbidi Boos. I've worn this on a few different trips and I really like it because it's sparkly and fun. And I'll link the Amazon sellers that I found these shirts from down below in the description box um, as long as they're still making the shirts. But I'm planning on just doing a little kind of tie up to the side. And this makes this a really fun kind of Disney bound because it has a throwback to Cinderella and also works really great for castle pictures as well. So this is another outfit I'm planning on bringing on this trip. So what I do is I just start grouping everything together so I can start getting a count for how many outfits I have. 
And then I also try to make sure that all of the parts that we're going to are accounted for as well. So here I set aside two outfits that I really like wearing to Animal Kingdom. If you recognize this shirt, it's because I wore it on our last trip there in February. I really, really love this shirt. So sometimes what I'll do is I'll toss in a couple different outfits that are a little bit more multifunctional. So like this is a dress, of course, and um, it's got a Lion King print on it. And so I really love wearing this. I actually got this the trip I think that we stayed at Animal Kingdom Lodge. And I really love wearing this because it is very comfortable. It's very light, very airy. And of course goes great with Animal Kingdom as is a shirt. So even though we're going to Animal Kingdom one day, I might toss in both items. And whichever one I decide not to wear to the parks, I can use this as a sleep and hang around the resort shirt. Or if I decide to wear that to the park one day, then I can use this as a swim cover up to go to the pool. So I try to toss in items that can do double duty. So that way if I wake up one day and I decide I want to wear a dress over a skirt, then I've got a couple different options that I can wear at each of the parks. But I'm not bringing a lot of extra with me that isn't going to be used. Because as we all know, saving space when we're packing, especially if you're flying, is a big deal. So in addition to ordering items off of Etsy and Amazon, another thing that I found that I have started doing is finding Facebook boutiques. And these are from a store called Wonderland Wishes. And I ordered these in an adult dress size. I've gotten some kids things from there before too. Actually, Natalie's Moana dress that's been in a number of our Disney videos came from there. Isabella's Snow White dress came from there. But I found these because they're really a unique print and I thought that they'd be really fun and they're also really light. Now these do seem to kind of run a little bit large. I wasn't sure what size to get so I ordered an extra large and they're kind of big. But what I'm planning on doing is to cinching them down with a belt across the center area and um, that way it will kind of help cinch it up a little bit. So when I order any more of these I am going to size down a little bit because I was, I'm kind of right on the line between like a large and an extra large depending on what brand and if it's more women's cut or juniors or you know how it's cut and um, these did tend to seem to run a little large so they're kind of loose up here in the top and um, you know kind of a little bit blousier than I would have liked it but they're still really really cute so what I'm planning on doing is getting a belt which I also ordered this from um, her universe and I have a couple more belts on the way to me from Amazon that's some of the things that I'm waiting for this is another one that it was a little bit big but I think I can make it work because we can put an extra hole in it I try to err on the side of getting things bigger rather than ordering it and then it's too small um, so this is what this is going to look like. It's got a wider belt with it and I'll share all these in a try on haul coming up. Um, but this is what I have to do is let's try on everything ahead of time and like I found out like these dresses are a little big so they definitely need a belt with them. So I needed to order the belt. So I start trying to prepare for all of that at least a month or month or two before our trip. So I'm going to plan on wearing this belt from Her Universe with this dress. And then I got two fun colored belts to wear with these dresses that are coming from Amazon. So you may also be wondering what I do for shoes. So I do bring a number of Nikes with me. I also bring a lot of trainers like the Saucony trainers. I love like the throwback like vintage shoes. I feel like they look really great with dress and they go with a number of different types of outfits. But I am known just to throw on regular pair of tennis shoes and or sneakers or whatever you call them where you're from and um, just roll around the parks in these because I think it's really important that you take care of your feet and walking that many steps per day, you have to be prepared for all contingencies. So we bring band-aids with us in case anyone gets a cut or a blister and also sometimes even extra socks so no one's walking around in wet socks and shoes. But one thing I also do is I always bring multiple pairs of shoes with me and that way I can alternate each day. So actually for a week long trip, I'll probably have at least three pairs of sneakers with me, a few pairs of flip flops, and maybe even one pair of fun dinner sandals. Something like these shoes are fun and I will wear them to go to dinner or to the pool or for a quick walk around the resort, but I won't wear these during the park days. So if you see these in my pictures, don't think that I'm walking around the park all day long in shoes like these because they're just not practical. I do wear shoes that are practical to walk up to 10,000 to 20,000 steps a day. This is how I do some kind of my pre-planning to get my clothing together to go to Disney and I'll do the same thing for the girls 
Michaels and myself and get our outfits laid out, kind of have an idea what we're going to be wearing to each of the parks, and then making sure that we have all of the accessories, socks, belts, jewelry, all those things that we need for our different outfits, making sure everyone has enough shoes, and then getting everything ready to go with enough time to spare for things to arrive before our trip. So hopefully this has been helpful. If you're thinking about taking a Disney trip soon and wondering what you should get to prepare and how soon you need to get it. So I'd say definitely starting to plan your outfits about two months before you leave is a really good time link to try to get everything ordered and have an idea what everyone in the family needs. Let me know if you have any questions down below and thanks for watching. Have a great day.